number one. I have come to dance. I will dance in the middle and then I run away. How are you, grade twos? It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. Now, place value. What is the place value? Place value. What is your place? The place value of a number is the position of that number. I've been given a number like three, four, and I'm being asked, find the, what is the place value? What is the place of this number four? And what is the place of this number three? And what did we say when you're talking about the place value? Apply the place value chart. That is ones and tens. So if I'm told, show this number using the sticks. How many tens do I have? How many tens do I have? Yes, Johnny, three tens. So I have one, two, and three. And another question is, how many ones do I have? How many ones do I have? Let's see. One, two, three, four. I have four ones. So if someone asks you, what is the place value of number 34? The place value of this 34 is equals to dash tens dash ones. And now, how many tens did you count? We counted one, two, three. And how many ones did you count? One, two, three, four. So I have four ones and three tens, which will give me the number 34. That is finding the position of numbers. What if you have been given a number like 27? 27 is how many tens and how many ones? 27 is dash tens, dash ones. Someone please tell me what is 27? 27 is equals to how many? We are saying divide your number into using the place value chart. So how many tens and how many ones do we have? Here I have seven tens and here I have two tens. Someone tells me, write this number using place value. So what is 63? 63 is equals to dash tens and dash ones. So we come here and we are saying put the place value chart. So how many ones and how many tens? We have three ones and we have six tens. Teacher, what if you have been given one number? Give me an example. Which number, Oscar? Oscar says, teacher, I've been given five only. Now, what happens here is this number five can also be written as can also be written as zero five. Five is just zero five. Did I say you put zero after? You don't put zero after five. You put zero before five. And once you put a zero before five, put use the place value chart as usual. Then you're saying see, five is dash tens dash ones. So what happens here? How many ones and how many tens? Using the place value chart, five is in the tens, it's in the ones place value, and zero is in the tens place value. So how many ones do we have? We have five ones and we have zero tens. What if teacher have been given a number like 30? That one should not worry you. 30 is now different. 30 has two numbers already. So what is it? This is tens frame. And then you write there, dash is dash tens dash ones. So what will be the answer? The answer is zero ones and three tens. Now, during your own free time, during your own free time, this is the work I want people to do. 74 is equals to dash tens dash ones. 
you come here 82 is equals to dash tens dash ones now it will come a time where they are looking for the number and they have been given you have been given there zero tens and one one now you fill in the number dash is equals to eight tens for ones so when we meet in the next lesson i want to see this one well done okay are we together any problem there teacher that is very easy very good we did this one in grade one this is just a revision we do i told you grade two is just revision of grade one work very easy do you remember when you did the place value at first you were struggling but right now you find it very very easy up to there any question anybody who feels teacher there is something you need to explain more okay i wish you all the best and i hope to see you in the next lesson thank you very much